Sam Fisher is back and he's back in the shadows. Splinter Cell Blacklist moves away from the action-heavy nature of the previous game, Conviction, allowing fans of stealth gaming to once again go silently in missions. But those that enjoy the all-out action of Conviction will still be able to get brutal with Blacklist, because this Splinter Cell title lets you pick the way you want to progress. Sam is back in the good books and heads up the newly formed 4th Echelon. Their job is to hunt down a deadly terrorist group intent on sowing destruction. The task takes them around the globe to numerous interesting and exotic locations in missions that are either single-player, co-op or multiplayer spies versus mercs affairs. Blacklist looks as good as it should with a high level of visual detail mixing with excellent animation and great character handling. The game is beautiful to look at with a high level of visual detail being a great tool for the player as well as eye candy. The voice acting is equally good with some well-known voices creeping into the mix. On the downside, Michael Ironside no longer provides the voice for Sam Fisher. Fans will take some time to get used to newcomer Eric Johnson, but he does do a good job. Like Conviction, Blacklist sees a lot of the information vital to the player worked into their surroundings. This effect was great in Conviction and makes a welcome return here. The awesome visuals are supported by a collection of excellent, well-used sound effects too. While Blacklist can be played in any way you like, ranging from stealthy to guns blazing and anything in between, the truth is that it prefers a stealthy approach. In fact, stealthier players get more awards and certain missions will force a stealth approach. There's nothing wrong with that because Splinter Cell is all about stealth. It's just not as free as they imply. That said, Blacklist gives the player a lot of toys and upgrades, all supported by a very decent control system. That means that the players can take on almost any approach on most missions and complete them in a wide variety of ways. It's freedom the likes of which Splinter Cell has never seen before and it is most welcome. With a number of long single player missions, Blacklist will keep the solo operator busy for a long time. Most of the co-op missions can also be played solo, but they tend to be better when enjoyed with friends. And then there's the competitive multiplayer aspect which makes a welcome return to the game and adds even more enjoyment and longevity to the title. In terms of plot, Blacklist has a fairly long convoluted story that will suit any title with Tom Clancy's name associated to it. It's pretty complex so the player will want to pay careful attention and not skip the cutscenes. It's a good story when all is said and done. Splinter Cell Blacklist allows the player to tackle covert operations in the way that they see fit. While it does prefer stuff, it gives the player a lot of tools and freedom. It also gives a great plot, awesome settings and a fantastic character in the form of Sam Fisher. All of this adds up to make Splinter Cell Blacklist the best Splinter Cell game we have seen in a long time.